today we're having a look at this printer from Flashforge. So it's a Flashforge uh, FFF printer or FDM. Uh, this model is called the Finder. So it's kind of like the smaller brother to Flashforge Dreamer. And it's also a much newer version than the Flashforge uh, Creator Pro, uh, for example. So it comes in this pretty nice um, uh, consumer friendly packaging so you can see all the specifications and you get a lot of information on the uh, printer itself and uh, there's a few bonus features here that you can see and it also comes in a few different colors um, so this is a really price worthy printer it's really cheap and it's supposed to perform really really well um, so what do you say let's get it open and let's get it printing Open up here. So I've been waiting a little bit while for this one because it's, it's really, really exciting. I think um, I'm loving the Flash Force Dreamer, which is kind of a bigger brother with double extruders and a heated bed. So this printer only runs with one extruder and doesn't have any heated bed. So it's more or less just a, um, let's see, this isn't gonna work. It's more or less of a um, simple get started printer for beginners who don't really wanna try around a lot. So it's for newcomers, basically. So let's see here. Get this packaging up. I think there we go. Whew. Now the box is empty here, as you can see. Let's remove the packaging there. We have some more over here. There you go. Here we have the printer. I wouldn't say it's heavy, but it's it's fairly um, massive. Let's see, some more paint tape, and some more tape. Here we go, the plastic is off. Oh, there's a lot of static uh, electricity here. Um, so here you can see on the top, you get the quick start guide. Let's just remove that and remove the... It's good packaging, it's, it's a bit sturdy, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Let's see in which direction we'll take this one. Here we have a spool included. That's nice. What more? Okay, we have the build plates. So you can see here on the top, there's a printer head uh, firmly positioned. So let's just remove this tape here. Gonna do it a little bit more easier. There you go. So included here we have the filament guide tube. So this goes from the back of the machine into the extruder. Also USB cable and on the left side a power cord. In this case a EU power cord because this is um, sold from um, uh, flashforge-eu.com. Um, let's see here. Just move the build plate a little bit. 
and then we have the all the firm ready, all the plastics ready. So there's a um, shipping safety, uh, a few features here that you need to uh, remove before moving the extruder around. Um, other than that, this printer has a touch screen. You can remove the plastic for that. So you can control everything you want from there. You also have on the left side, um, not really much here, it's uh, quite clean, it's open, so you don't have any um, fingerproofness or security like that. But it's good, it's a PLA printer, it's made for PLA, so it has a cold bed, which also is uh, removable. So this is a glass bed uh, with some um, Biltac, uh, Flashforge owned Biltac mounted on it. So this is really great if you want to keep the machine uh, level. Also featured on this machine is a auto leveler, so there's actually coming down a small tool here to, to touch probe the build plates, you, you, it's much easier to level. So it's assisted level, it's not completely automated. Uh, also some features are the filament spool pack. So this is where the included filament sits. And you also have a small sensor here with its contact over here, which detects the filament. So if you want you can turn that off through the um, touch screen. And you can just load any filaments on the side or anything like that if you want to. On the back you only find the power output. And on the right side you find USB slot or USB cable. So you can take a USB thumbstick and, and put it in there. And on the front screen you have the, the power on button and the um, touch screen itself. So uh, let's get it printing, let's plug it in and see what it can do. Thanks. All right, so let's hop into the software, Flash Print. So let's configure for the finder. And then we'll click here on load to get the models. In this case, a 3 Benchy model. Um, so in the software, you can, of course, move around, um, navigate through. On the left, um, left side here, uh, you can click on this small uh, arrow sign, and then you can get some more exact positions and so on. So. And also with the rotation and with the scale, you can do different uh, settings there. Then if you want to, uh, on the only settings that we really need to look at is the presets. So PLA, uh, no supports, no off, standard resolution. Uh, we can use wall or base mode. And then we can, of course, set some, some uh, extra settings here as well. Uh, well. We'll make a full video on this later on. But otherwise, we'll just have to save the G-code somewhere. So I'm going to save it on the memory stick that's included with the machine and then it slices that's real time it's actually really quickly so this should take one hour um, and you can see here the settings so you can see on the top right corner you see estimation of time and material and uh, you have the, the navigation tool on the left side to really see see how it slices Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, as you can see, I'm talking next to the printer, and just behind you, the camera, you have another printer going. Uh, so this is um, printing right now a really cool time lapse. So you should see that uh, in a few days, if you watch the series of the prints, you will see this model there. It's actually really, really cool. Um, so to summarize the machine, it's very quiet, it's easy to use, and it's printing really, really well. The only thing that I have detected or that is kind of normal with these kind of printers is that you have to 
uh, clean the build, build plate. So the blue painter's tape, or sorry, the blue build tack in this case, you have to have it clean, otherwise the mod model will start to, um, to lift. So right now I'm try uh, trying out the third uh, filament type. So this one is the um, uh, MakerBot PLA. So I've been using Echo PLA and FlashPrint PLA and everything works really, really well. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.